everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and I hope everyone is enjoying their Sunday. There was a, a small earthquake here in South Dakota, a magnitude 2.6. We really don't get a lot of earthquakes here in South Dakota, so I thought I would look into what possibly could have caused this earthquake. It was at 9.20 a.m. local time. So was it uh, the crust adjusting from the movement of the tectonic plates? Or was it glacial rebound? Now, South Dakota lies within a stable interior of the North American plate. But it has some ancient faults and geological structures such as the uh, mid-continent rift system that can still generate minor seismic activity. These faults not as active as those on a plate boundary can slip to accumulated stress. Spent the day drawing out all the earthquakes uh, going back to the 1800s here in South Dakota. I marked the older ones. Um, here in 1946 we got a 4.1, 1911, a 4.5, 1870, a 3.4, 1872, a 3.6, and let's see, 1895, a magnitude 3.5. Once again, South Dakota lies within the North American plate, far away from any tectonic boundaries. These would be considered intra-earthquakes. Earthquakes may result from stress transmitted from plate boundaries or the reactivation of ancient falls due to glacial rebound. The crust adjusting after the retreat of the Ice Age glaciers. South Dakota has recorded nearly 100 earthquakes since 1872, with most being minor, uh, below a magnitude 3, and causing little to no damage. A lot of them aren't even noticed by people. The largest earthquake felt in South Dakota was a magnitude 5.1 event in 1967. Let's find it. I hope I got it wrong. It was in 1964, right on the border with Nebraska. I got actually two locations for that earthquake, so maybe it was revised. I got it right up here, and also a little bit farther south. So we can't really say that earthquake was in South Dakota. It would be uh, the border with um, Nebraska. The actual largest earthquake ever recorded here in South Dakota was 1911, a magnitude 4.5. That earthquake, I believe, was south of Huron. Those that you live here in uh, South Dakota would be familiar with Huron. Right up over here. I think the next largest would be in 1946. A magnitude 4.1 that was by Wessington Springs since the 1900s South Dakota has experienced just that one earthquake of a magnitude 5.1 it was actually there in Nebraska 13 quakes between a magnitude 4.0 and the 5.0 and 88 quakes between a 3.0 and a 4.0 indicating low but Consistent seismic activity. Some scientists suggest that ancient faults in South Dakota and similar regions may be reactivated by isostatic rebound, where the crust rises after melting of heavy glaciers from the last ice age about 20,000 years ago. This stress can place mild stress upon ancient faults. We'll go back to that 2.6. Um, 2 so I, I thought I would look up also droughts that are currently happening here in South Dakota. Wondering if the uh, drought conditions along with glacial rebound might have, you know, an effect upon. So we got the Missouri River here. And I found a map of the river with uh, current drought conditions. So, um, yeah, severe drought going through this area and extreme drought 
over here on the uh, western side of the state. Yeah, and then moderate drought within. So it would be severe and moderate drought within the location of this earthquake. The latest U.S. drought monitor shows 100% of South Dakota remains abnormally dry or worse. However, the range of severe drought is down to 31%, roughly half of what it was last week and the lowest rate since October. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of rain here the last couple days. Now, eastern South Dakota was covered by glaciers up to 1,000 feet thick along the Missouri River Valley. Yeah, so there's another indication. The crust is still rebounding with estimates suggesting that 95 to 350 meters of depression along the North Dakota-Minnesota border due to the ice thickness that was anywhere from 280 to 1,040 meters. So that would be 920 feet to 3,000 feet thick. Amazing, isn't that? Earthquakes of late have been increasing, but you, um, USGS used to say that South Dakota experienced about uh, two, almost three earthquakes per year, mostly below a magnitude three, with rare events uh, of a magnitude four or greater. The larger earthquakes would happen every five to ten years. Now, there was one earthquake this year, a magnitude 3.0, was recorded 99 kilometers south of South Dakota Center. Um, there was also a 2.9 that occurred near Rapid City on March 8th, and the state geologist Tim Cowman suggested that the quake, like the uh, 2020 um, bottle 3.2 earthquake, may result from jumps in isostatic rebound. He said that these quakes typically cause a brief rumbling lasting about five seconds with no significant damage. While glacial rebound is a plausible cause for South Dakota's earthquakes, the evidence is not conclusive. They still argue the point, and some quakes may be the result from deeper tectonic adjustments. I don't know. What do you think? Put your thoughts and comments down below. Yeah, it makes you wonder about other areas like all the earthquakes on the East Coast. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.